Hi there, it's Karen at Corrie Paper Crafts here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in central Scotland. This is the next of my several videos regarding on stage my Stampin' Up! corporate event that I was at two weeks ago now. I'm filming this um, at the weekend, two weeks after we were there. It was our corporate event down in Telford near Birmingham in the UK. Um, I'm a bit late in putting these videos up but the last time I said if you've seen the previous video I filmed them. My phone and my new laptop and YouTube just wouldn't speak to each other. So as I should have done in the first place I'm now re-filming these um, on my camera which I should have done. So some of these have been opened but I've tried to keep them as good as possible so that I can let you know what I got and from whom and let you see what's inside them. So to start off with we got um, a, a gift uh, on stage when we arrived from our team leader Sam. Um, Sam is my upline, Sam of Poodles, Poodles Papercraft. Um, I'm in di Sam's direct downline and we all got uh, a gift from Sam as well as a swap actually I realised when I was going through these that I'd also got a swap from her but if I can open these and let you see them they're absolutely gorgeous I'm just going to check that you can actually see these beautiful beautiful little flower embellishments so I am definitely going to be using those in a project of some kind Sam spoils us as well so we all had a little sentiment on our gifts too. Um, don't let anyone stand in your way was mine. Other people had different things and she's just decorated it with a little bit of ribbon and one of our gold library clips. Now if you like these and you use them or if you want to get them then you'll need to be quick because they are retiring. So that's my gift from Sam. So I'm just going to go through these really really quickly. I'm going to start off with the bookmarks and the cards that I got and then whiz through all the 3D projects that I got as well because there are absolutely loads. So starting with this absolutely gorgeous bookmark, um, the detail in this and the work that's gone into it is incredible. Um, can you see that okay? Yeah just it's hard to get it all in shot. This is from the lovely Elizabeth Finney. She's one of our Scottish um, demonstrators too, also in the Poodles team um, and she's craft with lizzie.blogspot.com if you want to go and visit her blog and there are some gorgeous things on Elizabeth's blog. This sentiment says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten stun which was quite apt given that it was just a week before Easter. So I'll definitely be using that Elizabeth, thank you. Now this little bookmark here, it does have this ribbon oops, to go with it, um, but it keeps coming out so I'll, I'll put it back together and put a little glue dot in it. Um, I'm just going to check that you can see that too. Yeah, love the dog. Um, in fact, I don't think that is the ribbon to go with that. I think it's a red, a piece of red ribbon so we'll probably come across it so I'm going to put that ribbon to the side because I'm not sure that belongs to that. But this bookmark anyway is from Jill Lackford and her Facebook page is all the w's facebook.com forward slash Jill stamps up. So thank you very much. Um, it's a happy tales um, stamp set that she's used from that and actually I've just noticed the one eighth of an inch real red solid ribbon was the, the ribbon for this so it isn't that darker ribbon so I will find it, it'll be in the bag um, beside me. I love this bookmark and again its ribbon has fallen off. This is from our Jacqueline who's also another Scottish demonstrator, Jacqueline Calder um, and she's also a putler. She's gold embossed the palm tree on here um, and the sentiment and I absolutely love this really really pretty bookmark Jacqueline so thank you and I'll definitely be using that too. And then this is a little slider gift I absolutely love it um, really really pretty butterflies are very popular this year and I love the ribbon um, held together with the, the baker's twine at the top and if you pull it out like this it's a Tango Popping Candy um, bar. I've not had Popping Candy for years. That's really clever the way it's done. You just use the ribbon to pull it out and push it back in. And this is from Lynn Martin. 
Um, so thank you, Lynn. That's really pretty. I really like that. Um, I think my daughter will probably steal that candy. And then moving on to all these cards, I'll go through them as quickly as I can. This is a card front, very, very pretty. You are simply the best. And this is the Varied Vases um, um, punch that, or the Vase Builder punch in the Varied Vases stamp set, I think. Yep, Varied Vases stamp set. This is Erica Cargill who's made this and she's cut the shapes out with the Vase Builder punch. Really pretty. Thank you very much, um, Erica. That's gorgeous. This one, it's not um, a, a sweet that I particularly liked when I first saw it and I didn't get the, the stamp set or the dies but I definitely have the 6x6 designer series paper and I do like it but at on stage actually I've seen quite a few projects made with this and I'm starting to think I maybe should have got the stamps and the dies but this again is a lovely card front and this was made by Lynn Gostling so thank you Lynn um, I don't know if you've got a blog or a Facebook page or anything but if you see this you could always let me know but if you want to try and find Lynn L-I-N is how she spells her name then have a look on social media and see if you can find her and see what else she's been making but that's really pretty so thank you Lynn for that I love this um, I'm really sad that this set is retiring although it's not one that I've used very much but what draws me to this is the fact that there's designer series paper on the, the cup and I just think it's so pretty um, this is from um, Lynn's Liz, so I'm not sure, um, I'll just cover up that mobile number, um, if it's Elizabeth Lindsay, uh, uh, but um, Tanner's Yard might be the, the, the name that she goes under for crafting, um, but that is really, really pretty, I really like that, so thank you for that. This is just so gorgeous, I think this is the Fable Friends um, stamp set, and I wasn't going to open this when I filmed it before and I know to open it today and I'll show you why. Um, this is from Jill Moore who crafts as Crafty Dye um, and she's used crackle paint on this as well but when I first saw this I thought there was something else inside but when you open it it's a fancy fold card which is just gorgeous. And another ducky stamped in here. Very like Jemima Puddle Duck. Um, I absolutely, I absolutely love this. Um, so I might have to case that Jill in terms of the, the design of the card for my workshop ladies with permission of course. So thank you, that's beautiful. Now this one I think I remember, yeah, there was no name on this so I have no idea who made it and it's really pretty and I'd like to say thank you to you properly. I'm sorry the corners got a little bit squashed in my or on my travels because I flew up and down to Telford but had so many swaps I had to, to give them to um, Elizabeth Finney actually my colleague who made that beautiful bookmark to bring home with her in the caravan but they had been carted around a lot before that. This is really pretty. Um, pop of petal stamp set used there with the matching punch and this is needle needlepoint nook designer series paper but I don't know who you are I'm really sorry but it's very pretty so thank you. This is a pretty card as well. Um, I love the Mary Merlot colour. I really like that. And again, I don't use that as often as I should. This is from... I'm going to have to open this up to see who it's from. Absolutely beautiful card. This is from... Let me have a look. Um, oh yes, Cathy Marie Creations. Um that's what you'll find her as on Facebook so pop over I know that she's got some really lovely things and Cathy sent me a lovely message on Facebook um, once I got home from um, on stage to, to thank me for the swap that I'd given to her so I've already popped over and visited Cathy's Facebook page and given her a like so if you want to see what else Cathy makes then I, I strongly recommend you go and have a look at her Facebook page so thank you Cathy that's beautiful this one here is so cute as well, a card from embossing folders being used. This is one of the ribbons that came 
um, in a set during celebration at the beginning of this year and the Elephant Builder Punch has been used to stamp this little elephant out from designer series paper. Um, looks like gingham gala and a little cardstock ear and just various stitched edge framelits um, dies, the circle ones and I see the starburst punch here as well. That's so pretty. This is from, oh it doesn't tell you, oh down the bottom, Sally. So Sally, I'm not sure which Sally you are if you're watching this, get in touch and let me know but that's really pretty so thank you very much. Um, oh still so many to get through, I'm going to have to quicken this up a little bit. I really like this card, this is, is really pretty as well, ribbon down the side, some stamping, some die cutting um, and a little um, red faceted gem on the side of there as well. This is from Lexi Pritchard um, and she's on Facebook as Lexi's Stamping Corner. I really like that Lexi, thank you. It's very very pretty, really intricate dye there. Um, I'm not sure how you've stuck that on or maybe you've just stuck it underneath the sentiment but that's really really pretty. Really effective just with a couple of die cuts and a bit of stamping. Really pretty, I like that. Again, elephants were, were really popular this year. This sentiment says, welcome little one. Again, designer series paper um, used with the, the elephant builder punch to, to put some colour and a bit of pattern onto the elephants. These are gorgeous. And this is, the, the clouds are made with paste because I did wonder um, what they were made with. At first I wondered if they were some sort of tissue paper, but they're not, they're paste. This is from Helen Holden. Um, and on Facebook she's known as Handmade with, with Helen. Really pretty. Really, really like that. So thank you Helen. This is just gorgeous. I love this cheeky bunny rabbit with his little winking eye. Um, just looks so cheeky. This has been coloured in by um, alcohol markers. Um, used an embossing folder which is really, really pretty. And this is from Lola Lorenz, who is one of our German um, colleagues who's come over to join us in the UK for um, on stage this year. Stempel Ritterin, I'm wondering if that's her crafty name, but that's definitely Lola who gave me this. So thank you, Lola. That's just lovely. Really, really pretty. And I love the cheeky bunny. This is pretty as well. Lots going on in this card front. Um, lots of different techniques because we've got stamping and it looks like a bit of water colouring as well. Some die cutting, stamping and punching, more die cutting. This is the leaf punch which I like and I love the, the text stamped over one corner here and always three embellishments. There seems to be a thing about crafting. If you're making something and adding embellishments, you put three um, of your, your diamantes or your pearls or whatever on it. And this is from uh, Elizabeth Bennett. Um, I don't see a blog or a Facebook page or anything. Um, and she says, hi, thank you for swapping with me at my first on stage. So this was Elizabeth's first on stage. She's put a lot of work into this card front. It's absolutely lovely. And I hope you enjoyed your first on stage and you'll be back for more. So thank you for that. This is um, the card that I swapped with our Sam, um, Sam Hammond Donald, who's uh, known as Poodle's Papercraft, as I say, and she's my upline in the Stampin' Up! world. I absolutely love this designer series paper. This is the All My Love Suite. Um, and I love the butterflies as well. Um, I, again, it's something that I've not used as much as I should. So this is a really pretty card, Sam. Thank you very much for that. And this is really pretty as well. Now I thought this was just a little card to begin with um, and it is but it's from Julie's Crafting and she's also popped in an envelope because it's one of our little narrow note cards um, that you, you'll find in the catalogue and this is uh, Julie's Crafting. So Julie Nicola Jackson is who made this beautiful card and lots of layers on here. There's um, two or three different layers of card with the cat 
stamped and then punched out using the cat punch uh, and I love the stamped balls of wool and a little love heart this is really really pretty so thank you Julie um, for that that's really really pretty thank you so what I'm going to do now is I think I'll just pop my bag sorry beyond the camera um, and show you all the 3d swaps that I did so I'll take a few out at a time because I've got so many and then I'll tell you who they're from and let you see what's in them. So first of all, this is from Janice, who's one of my downline ladies, Janice Thompson, who crafts as Jazzle Dazzle Crafts. This is really pretty. Um, a little belly band over a box made using the envelope punched board. And inside, there were two of these bars, the Naked Bars. Um, I don't eat chocolate or any dairy products so she put two of these in and they're absolutely delicious so I've already eaten one and now that I've um, shown you this I'll be able to eat the other one so I'll put that back together later Janice but thank you it's lovely this is just gorgeous it's a little mini um, photo frame if you like uh, the the sentiment says when you arise in the morning think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive to breathe to think to enjoy to love and um, I'm not sure if that's stamped onto designer series paper or if it's actually um, that she's stamped that as well I'm not sure I don't recognize it um, but this is beautiful and so delicate and this was made by Kate Discombe so that's absolutely gorgeous I don't see a Facebook page or a blog or anything but thank you Kate I'm going to put that on a little stand um, in my craft room I think because it's just lovely I really like it what else have we got? Um, oh, this is coming apart just very slightly. This is a no glue box and it's got a couple of lovely little Easter eggs in it. And there doesn't seem to be, wait a minute, no, doesn't seem to be a name with this. So I'm not sure who I got that from, but thank you very much. Really um, clever way of making a box without having to put any glue on it but whoever you are thank you very much for that I really like it and uh, I have plenty of family members who only claim to all the chocolates and all of these as well this is really pretty too um, it's like a, a little half cracker um, now I did manage to where's my just grab my paper piercer to try and catch the ribbon on here um, because I don't want to waste it and I don't want to there we are um, oh I've pulled the ribbon a little bit but this is really pretty and the, the sentiment stamped with the a good day stamp set I used that on all my swaps for the, the stamping up the, the on stage weekend as well um, so inside here what have we got oh a little kinder mini and also if I can get your details out here um, this is Jo Slaney, so thank you Jo, really pretty, um, the Brights in colour DSP I think was used for that, I'll pop its ribbon just inside and put it back together later like the rest. This is a pretty one as well and I remember who this is from, I love the way the box is held closed just by popping it behind the stamp, I absolutely love these biscuits. Um, I eat them all the time so later on once I've filmed these I'm going to have those with a cup of tea and these were made by another putler this is Angelina Clark who stacks who cra crafts sorry as intertwined designs and um, so you'll probably be aware of Angelina on Facebook and she has a fabulous blog and a very um, busy Facebook a YouTube channel, lots and lots of beautiful projects. Um, so thank you, Angelina, for that as well. This I know who this is from, and again the lovely butterfly on the front. Hello, beautiful stamped here, and again this is a very clever, fancy fold box. This is from our Heidi, Heidi Smith, who's another putler, as is Angelina, um, and Heidi crafts as Flutter by Heidi. Um, and she has a blog and a Facebook page and uh, a YouTube channel as well. Um, I think she has a Facebook page anyway, but she definitely has a blog and a, face and, uh, a YouTube channel. And I know that Heidi's already done a video to show you how to make this as well. So that's lovely, Heidi. Thank you very much for that. 
this is really pretty um, again they a good day stamp set and I used the little bunny on some of my swaps but I never actually thought to stamp it onto designer series paper which is quite clever these are lovely too I know that they'll be gone very shortly and this is made by Sarah I'll be crafting um, as opposed to I'll be crafting because it's spelled I-S-L-E so I'm not sure which aisle you belong to whether it's um, one of the Scottish Isles or one of the Channel Islands or uh, the Emerald Isle which is uh, another name that we have for Ireland but thank you very much for this um, and I'll go and have a look on social media and see if I can find you so thank you this little envelope here again made using the envelope punch board and this is just gorgeous this is Yvonne Flitton um, who's another um, Putler lady she is crafting for everyone and the four is the number four and this is so clever and so delicate this is actually a bookmark too um, with a little tab stamped and joined on with a little bit of ribbon and then just carefully wrapped around to wrap it up for putting in the envelope so that's absolutely beautiful Yvonne I really really like that and I'll definitely be using that too and I love the little envelope too and this I chatted with this lady as we went round and swapped again another butterfly it's only just managed to survive the journey home it's got a little broken wing here but I'll be able to sort that and um, with a little bit of DSP round the bottle uh, or the jar um, and I wish you could smell this it's absolutely gorgeous it's um, a salt scrub that she has made and this is from Lisa Bourne it's lemongrass and tea tree oil sugar scrub um, for your hands so that's absolutely gorgeous now that I've refilmed this I'm going to be using that and I'm sure my hands will smell for a little while afterwards it smells absolutely gorgeous and this lovely dinky little one here was held together with a staple which I'll need to be careful about because it's still actually in there very very pretty um, I think this is um, stamped onto DSP eh, onto card sorry and inside there's a Kit Kat Senses um, which my husband will enjoy eating so I'll pop that back in just now and this was made by Jo Wallbanks um, so thank you her blog is joe.wallbanks.wordpress.com thank you joe that's really pretty um, and i might have to case that as well because i like the the milk carton type boxes but that's just a perfect size for popping a, a sweetie in so i might um have to have a look at that closely later on thank you oh a few more a few more we're getting there um i'm going as quick as i can but i don't want to not tell you about everybody's swaps because they're just so lovely this is so pretty these are um, little post-it notes page tabs that um, you can use for the new catalogue um, and at first I didn't know how to open this but if you look it's very very clever tiny little butterfly punched using the butterfly duet punch um, and little post-its in there and then to close it again you just pull up the butterfly's wings and pop it over and put it back through again so that's um, hello I think Oh, I can't remember which stamp set that's from, but really, really pretty. This all looks like it's been hand stamped as well. And that was made by Ruth Trice. Um, and she's all the W's, artfulstampin.co.uk. And I know that she has a YouTube channel as well. I had a wee chat with Ruth uh, as we were swapping um, on the Saturday morning as well. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Um, so that's very pretty. Thank you, Ruth. This here as well. Sweetie as well as some little mini post-its and I love the way this opens because it's a, a little brad tag topper punch used to um, make the hole in the top and I love how thank you is stamped on the first little post-it there it just makes all the difference and adds another little something so these are really pretty I use post-it notes all the time at home and at work so these will become very useful indeed and this is from Yvonne Whitmer or Whitmer I'm not sure how you pronounce it so thank you Yvonne for that I'll pop it back in its little bag in a little while um, this now this is where that other spare piece of ribbon came from because I think yeah 
I've swapped with this lady twice and I don't know how I managed to do it um, but that's where that other piece of ribbon belongs but they've both got something different in them this one because it's lost its ribbon um, it has a, a biscuit in there which looks really interesting and this one again has my favourite biscuits in so I'll be having that with a cup of tea very shortly and these were made by Louise Wheeler and she crafts as Cherry Flowers Creations so her website or her blog is cherryflowercreations.com so go and see if you can find Louise and see what else she's been up to. Um, I've not visited your blog yet, Louise, but I certainly will. But these are lovely. I really don't know how I managed to get two of these. So apologies if you were um, one short for somebody. And here's the ribbon that goes with the doggy uh, bookmark. I found it. This is really pretty, really clever as well. And I think this is a project that didn't have a name with it couple of packets of um, Swizzles Fizzers Sweeties and this is a very clever project no glue again it's just very clever folding it's what we call a napkin fold project so this is uh, very pretty indeed uh, Garden Impressions DSP is what this person has used I think it's a lady because I don't remember swapping with any gentleman so thank you whoever you are that's really really pretty um, and there weren't any details with this or if there were I've lost them but I know who this is from this is from our Amanda, Amanda Charlesworth um, Scrimping Mummy on all social media and uh, there's an after eight mint in here now really funny story about Amanda if you've watched any of Amanda's videos especially the one where she was showing you how she made these um, Amanda's terrible for buying sweeties for making her swaps and then they never get that far because she eats most of them and then has to go and buy more so um, I'm glad she managed to to have enough to, to do her swaps um, but I think she probably ate more than she than she swapped and, and had to buy extra so thank you Amanda and I know that Amanda's done a video tutorial to show you how she made that thank you my lovely and Amanda's um, in our team as well, but she has quite a big team of her own now. Now this pretty little envelope punch board box, again, I've undone it a few times, so it's getting a little bit frayed, but that's okay. And inside is a Rosie's chocolate, really dinky um, and, and very effective. And this is from Anne Hollis. Um, so thank you, Anne. I don't think there's any details of a, a blog or a Facebook page or anything. But that's really pretty. I like that too. Thank you. And that's a petal promenade paper, I think, that she's used to make that as well, which is also a lovely sweet. And this is really pretty too. Um, I'm going to open this. This was handmade by Audrey. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I can remember if your details are inside here. Um, yeah, they are. Lovely um, freestanding calendar, very very pretty. I love the calendar tabs as well. I can never manage to buy any that are that pretty, so I might have to get in touch with you and ask where you got those. And some of the Gingham Gala DSP in the background, and some embossing here too. Really pretty. Purple's my favourite colour, so I really like that. And this was made by. Audrey Shaw. Oh, now that's right. She cased this from Jan B, who I also have a swap with just very shortly. Audrey, um, you're in Scotland, you've got here, so I'm going to have to find out where you are um, and try and hook up with you since you're one of our Scottish colleagues. So that's really pretty. Thank you for that. Um, I'll see if I can find you on social media as well. And we're down to the last few now. Um, oops. Now, I've got a belly band here that belonged to this, this project here. So apologies to whoever made that. I've now put its belly band back on. Again, that's the A Good Day stamp set. So you've used, it's, I think it's maybe watercolour pencils to colour that in. So that's a belly band that matches this little project here. This one I really like. This is really pretty. Um, the Daisy Punch is one of my favourite punches and the, the Daisy Delight is one of my favourite stamp sets. 
again slide the belly band off and open up a little pizza style box and this is a lovely lovely candle inside um, I took this off the middle and, and couldn't get it back on over the wick um, but I might try to do it or I might not because I think I'll be using the candle anyway no it doesn't I, I, I couldn't remember if that had a, a fragrance or not but that's nice and plain so um, I can use that in one of my wax melts burners I um, also as well as being a demonstrator for Darcy's wax uh, for Hi there, sorry about that. Um, my camera decided to switch itself off when I got down to the last three swaps. So that's a lesson learned. Um, I'll have to make sure that my videos are a little bit shorter from now on. But I'll, I'll join these together. And if not, I'll just pop it on as a standalone video on YouTube. So I was just in the middle of seeing the Tropical Chic Suite. Um, the, the stamps and the, the matching dies were used to make this. And this is a lovely box. Um, um, for a packet of tissues and the details of who made this are here and this was made by let me have a look uh, Sheila Birch um, that's really pretty Sheila very very clever um, and I think she's got on here that there are two ways of making the box so she's actually given the instructions to how to make the box and both sets of instructions to make it both ways so that's really kind um, thank you very much Sheila for that this um, it's come unstuck this is another lovely oh, that's because I've got it stuck together lovely project made using the envelope punch board with a belly band which I will sort I'll stick it back together straight afterwards again a punch that I've just said that I didn't think I had but I discovered that I do and this opens up to reveal this beautiful it's like balsa wood um, charm so I'll be hanging that somewhere in my craft room beautiful U stamp set to use to stamp onto that and again it's not a stamp set that I've used an awful lot although I do have it and this was made by the Crafty Yellow Camper I absolutely love that name um, and this lady doesn't put her name on here um, but I see her, her email address involves Mrs Big Bird which is just fab I really like that she's a Crafty Yellow Camper on Facebook and her blog or her website is thecraftyyellowcamper.com that is absolutely gorgeous and I will definitely be hanging that in my craft room somewhere and I'll stick that back together properly just very shortly and last but not least I just love this little book um, again using the Garden Impressions DSP to cover the outside of the cardstock and very generously has given us a lip balm inside a milk and honey one which just looks gorgeous in fact I'm going to see if it has a smell if you can smell it at all Oh, you can smell the honey definitely smell the honey and that's just held in place with a little glue dot to stop it falling out which is very clever and this has been made by Anne Jordan who crafts as Crafty Anne and it looks like her blog is craftyanne.co.uk and again I'll tie that together later so thanks very much for watching as I said I'll try and splice these two videos together because my camera gave up the ghost after a little while but I wanted to let you see all the gorgeous swaps that I got from on stage. So thanks for watching. I'll be back very soon with another video uh, showing you all the swaps that I had for my team day, which was on the Sunday after on stage. Um, but I'll tell you and show you all about those uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.